It's the Channel Mom Show, celebrating you with Jenny Dean Schmidt. If you're a busy mom, get someone else to send your personalized cards for much less than a store-bought card and stamp. It's that easy. Just click on Send Out Cards. Good morning. Everybody listening today. Good morning, Shelly. Good morning. Good morning, Daniel. Good morning. Good morning, Brenna, who's lying on her floor over there, Shelly's daughter. I think she fell back asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, we're so glad to have you. We've got some really good stuff, whether you're a man or a woman today, um, that I think could really help your life. It is called The Bad List, and your child's school could be on it, just so you know. At least it's not my child <laughs> on The Bad List. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> we're going to look at a special report today to let you know how your school compares and how some communities are actually fixing the problem that we're talking about that gets you on the bad list. And who here wants to eat carbs and be skinny too? I do. Okay, good. Daniel doesn't even care. He's not, oh, he's raising his hand. He's Thank you, guy. Daniel. Guys don't care. <laughs> well, I mean, I think they want to be reasonably fit, you know? And carbs are, have been sort of like in the 70s, eggs were the, the thing that you weren't supposed to touch or 70s or 80s. Remember when eggs suddenly became, you weren't ever supposed to eat them? They caused high yeah. cholesterol. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And now it's carbs. And so I, we've got good news for you on that. It's all going to be in our new segment where we aim to make moms feel better, look better, just, you know, overall health uh, focused. It's called Healthy Mom, Happy Family with certified nutritionist Julie Hammerstein. Stein, sorry. And it's really, it's a fun new segment. I, I, she's going to bring us great information. Every time she's on and she sort of gives me a preview of what she's going to talk about, I get all excited because it's stuff I need to learn as well. And it's brought to you by Earth Balance, a new sponsor for Channel Mom. I'm really excited to have them on board. They have yummy stuff. I have some of their stuff in the studio today. They do. Do they have carbs? They don't. Well, do they? they're plant-based. Yeah, they do. They have carbs. That's part of, that's part of the reason we're going to tell you that there's some good stuff there. Uh, okay. Most moms work pretty hard not to curse in front of their kids, but if you've got a tiny issue with dropping the blank bombs now and again, you might be surprised to find out which cities have this problem in spades. I have to confess, I do it when I'm near death. Near death? Oh, yeah. Like it's a car is coming it. straight yeah, on? If I'm going to die, I swear. <laughs> Which is really bad timing <laughs> for swearing, really. Bad time to get them, pop that one out to God. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm liking, I'm calling it the potty mouth poll, and we're going to have that on the show today. Plus, if you like to thrift shop, you won't believe how some women are doing this party bus style. We're going to tell you about that. And finally, if the high price of pain reliever gives you a headache, we've got some expert advice on how to ease your pain, how to, how to drop the cost. There's some really deceiving um, sort of ways in which they're skewing the cost. It makes you look like you're getting more, but you're actually getting less and so on and so forth. So we're going to tell you all about that. And all, we will also have a big thank you for our Channel Mom viewers for reaching out to a mom in need. Coming up today in our news, Moms Can Use, all of those stories. But first, my commentary. Okay, both Dan and Shelly, well, probably more Shelly than Dan, but Dan will at least be humored by this today, I'm hoping. Here is a question for every mom out there today. Are you tired of trying to help everybody. Let me guess. Because si summer is coming to a close, you have been trying to smash in every last minute sh summer outing that you can think of, and you've been school shopping for supplies and clothes and shoes, as well as cooking, cleaning, taxi cab driving, phoning, organizing, thrifting, donating, giving, listening, healing, holding, hugging, and having a nervous breakdown, maybe. Maybe. And working. And, and yeah. I mean, working is part of all that. Yeah. I mean, some, some women work outside the home. Some in addition. their job inside the home. Yeah, exactly. Okay, well, I'm right there with you, girl. We moms do a lot. And I'm not going to feel sorry for us because we did sign up for this. We really and truly did. But I will tell you that I thought of all of you this week in the midst of my own busyness. At one point, after a day of shopping for school and buying special treats and making dinner and cleaning up, I was cutting my son's hair in the kitchen because it was the night before school and he needed it cut before school. Well, while I was cutting his hair, my daughter was getting in on the action, and I began trimming her ends in, be in between snips of my son's hair. At the same time, my daughter was also instructing me about how to do her nails after I was done cutting her my son's hair. And to top it off, our new puppy was taking turns biting my feet and alternately peeing on them. While cutting hair. Exactly. That's I am bad. not kidding. That's bad At one point, cut. I was cutting hair. The dog was peeing right next to me. My daughter was saying, but mom, you need to do this with my nails. And I thought, oh my gosh. And while I was going through this, I thought, surely there are other mothers out there going through very similar difficulties at 930 
on the night before the first day of school. And that's when I thought of every mom out there today that's listening and all our moms who listen by the web as well. And I thought I'd better thank them and tell them that they're making a huge, maybe even life-saving dis- difference in lots of people's lives, not only for their children, but their spouses, if they have them, their friends, their extended families, their coworkers. You know, there is a scripture that says this, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And I, I hold on to that thing. I hold on to that. Ladies, you are harvesting more than you know. I think of all the women in my life who have done for me more than I could ever pay them back for. People like Shelly and also my own mother. Women like you have unselfishly poured into my life when I was down or when I needed to change or when I needed a hand. And you right now are doing the same thing for somebody out there as a mother. Even if it's, ju- it, you're, it's not just your kids, you're helping friends, you're helping in your church, you're helping your husband, you're helping wh- your own mother, wh- whatever it is. So please know that whether you're serving your children or helping a friend or even just doing something charitable for a stranger, if you're tempted to feel weary and just give it all up, I'm here to help you resist that temptation by sending you a picture. And it's not via email or Facebook, not even on Pinterest. I'm offering you a picture for your mind's eye. It is a picture of the smile that you put on your son's face this week or the tears that you wiped away from your daughter's cheek or the words that you spoke to a friend that saved her from hurting herself. Hold on to that picture in your mind or better yet, hold on to it in your heart. For those days when you wonder why you do it all, that picture is your answer. You are a mom and that means that you have the opportunity to make our world a better place. Yeah, Shell? It's the only thing that really matters. Yeah, in, in the world, end. What you're doing. Yeah, relationship. I mean, exactly. I mean, I think family is still the most important thing out there. And, uh, you know, obviously for me, other than God. But, but yeah, I just, I, what, what else do we have on this planet? I mean, you know, when people's houses burn down or when 9-11 happened and all those things, people always come back to, it's the people I love. It's the people I love. It's the people I love. My family, that's yeah. all you want. Yeah, yeah. So people need to. To, to realize that. And by the way, I just want to say this quickly before we get to the news. I think that I need to remedy a big problem in my closet. Walked into my closet last night. Two thirds of it is black. Two thirds of my closet is black. Yeah, that's bad. And I'm not talking about the paint on the wall. I'm talking about my clothing. I mean, it's come in handy, unfortunately, over the last two years because I've had so many funerals to attend. But other than that, I, I'm like, what is wrong with me? I walked in. Two thirds of my closet is black. Time to go some, do some shopping. Exactly. So my, if my husband's listening, he needs to hear that. <laughs> By the way, I do need to shout out to my husband this morning. Woke up at 4.30 and I'm like, hon, what are you doing? He's, He's taking care of the puppy? No, laundry. Oh, that's My husband awesome. has been doing laundry for 23 years he of our marriage. Win, husband of the year for that. <laughs> and he realized he knows he has a really busy weekend. So he came home last night and started the laundry and he was up at 4.30 this morning. <laughs> my husband did laundry for me too this week. That was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my husband's done it for 23 years, so I, I am even more thankful than you right it's now. the one thing I can't keep up on. I just yeah, can't. It's very-